Hey guys, well, I'm back and I'm 23 weeks. I'm actually 23 weeks and four days today. Oh my gosh, I'm so not good with keeping up with this stuff. Um, well, it turned out Sunday was a really big busy day for us and I wasn't home a lot, so that's my excuse. <laughs> Believe me or not. Um, anyway, let's get into it. Okay. Um, not a lot has happened since I did my 22 and a half week, so it's been a week, but yeah, nothing much has really happened. Um, I had my midwife appointment yesterday, um, which went really, really good. Um, my bundle height is measuring about a centimetre above my belly button, which is right on target. Um, her heartbeat was sort of fluctuating. It wasn't the best, like, she wasn't using her good Doppler, but um, it was fluctuating between, like, 130 and 142, so it was quite low, really, because she's usually around 145, but either way. Um, my blood pressure was really good. It was 116 over 63, so that's really cool. Sorry, I'm looking at my dog over here. He's trying to get packed off me all the time. Kind of bump the laptop in it. Um, what else? Um, yeah, there wasn't much that happened there really. We talked about some, about vitamin K um, that you give to the baby on, upon birth um, to help prevent like um, bleeding into the brain and stuff mostly. Um, and so far, we haven't done a lot of research into it yet, but so far we're pretty keen on doing it. Um, so let me know if you guys, you know, why you guys are doing it and why you aren't doing it, because uh, that would be really cool to get some actual opinions on it. Because a lot of the websites I have found in the brochures have been sort of biased in one way, so it's really hard to sort of get a really fair judgment um, about, you know, whether to do it or not. Um, another thing we found out at the midwife meeting actually was um, that. Um, Charlotte has a little cyst thing, apparently, on her brain, but um, apparently that's 100% normal, and a lot of the time they wouldn't even mention it. It'll be in the report, if you guys have done a 20-week scan, when they measure the brain parts and all that, then it'll be in that report, so you should ask your midwife, but um, yeah, I made her read me the report, so <laughs> that's the only reason I know, but um, yeah, apparently they have to have more than four to even think about looking into it. But apparently it can be something to do with a chromosomal thing. Um, but generally, if it's a chromosomal problem, um, then there's like 20 plus cysts on the brain. So one is nothing. And it's quite common. So um, she said that even if we did a growth scan or something at like 30 weeks, then it would likely have disappeared. So, freaked me out for a second, but yeah, it's all good. So, that was something interesting I learned. Um, I've just been emailing around for antenatal classes and stuff like that. Um, we probably will be starting them next, tu next Tuesday night um, with the Levin Birthing Centre. Um, they're doing them at the Salvation Army building or something. Anyway, relevant for you guys out of New Zealand. <laughs> um, yeah, so that's really exciting. They're all completely free, so it's going to run for six weeks. Um, I've asked when the next one is, just because that one sort of finishes quite early. But um, yeah, I don't know which one we'll go to, but it, it might be next week. I'll, I'll let you guys know if we're attending them with my uh, 24 week video. Um, what else? This week's cravings have been chocolate, lots of chocolate, which I couldn't touch for so long in this pregnancy, which is weird. <laughs> and now I'm back to like Kit Kat Chunkies, man. Oh, so good. Uh, what else is there, baby? What else? Uh, oh, we got our home kill delivered this, um, this week. It was Wednesday morning, I think. Um, yeah, which is really, really cool. So we have like a chest freezer full of beef and lamb, all different cuts, right from the stew meat, right to the cream of the crop. <laughs> no, um, you're in the way. Um, 
Yeah, and that's really, really cool. So we don't have to buy any, like, red meat for, like, I don't know, like, <laughs> at least the rest of the year. So <clears throat> that's really cool. Um, what else? Not much, really. Um, symptoms. I find if I don't drink enough or if I haven't drunk in a while, I get really dizzy. So um, I'm having to watch my water intake more carefully. I know I don't drink enough, which is bad. But I never used to drink before pregnancy, so this is really, really hard for me. I'm looking at the computer going. Um, sorry, guys. Um, what else? Um... I started working more on her nursery, so I'm doing a little bit like that, um, more I'm sort of getting like nesting urges, I reckon there must be, or something like that, because I just suddenly want to do more, <laughs> and buy stuff, but I'm trying not to buy anything, but, um, other than like the major stuff, but try not to buy anything little, just in case I get stuff at my baby shower, and then it'll be sort of like a waste of money, so... Yeah, I'm doing some more painting on her um, nursery, hopefully, this afternoon. Um, and what else? Yeah, I really should have written a list of this. <laughs> um, yeah, there's not much else I can think of. I have been having Brett's and Hicks contractions, which is kind of odd. That's one thing I just remembered, because it's having one now. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's really strange. It's just everything, like, my whole tummy just goes really tight and hard and feel like a real whole lot of pressure sort of in my pelvis. Um, it doesn't last long. They're not supposed to, so that's good, I guess. <laughs> but, yeah, that's kind of weird and fun at the same time. <laughs> um, what else? I'm starting to love looking pregnant and feeling her roll and, and kick and punch and all that. It's just so exciting. It gets annoying, I must admit, when you don't get a break. But all in all, it's really, really nice to have all that movement and know she's still alive and not freak out and, you know, that she's passed away and I don't know and stuff like that. So that's really good. Um, oh, another thing I just remembered. You're going to have to excuse my, oh, I just remembered because <laughs> that's just how I am these days. Um, yeah, I did the, the usual wee test at my midwife appointment and the little, you know, the little strips with the little squares and they change colour and stuff. Yeah, I did that and it officially shows I'm not burning any extra, like, weight off myself. So I'm not losing weight like I, you know, I shouldn't be. But I was, obviously, before, like, in the first trimester I lost 12 kilos. So, um, yay! <laughs> not burning off any, um any fat stores anymore, so that's really good. Um, I put on, I think I'm now up to my third kilo, or just about on my third kilo, um, but that's not too bad, I reckon, I think it's pretty steady, I don't know, don't want to gain too much, but yeah, I've been eating a bit of crap lately, <laughs> and takeaways and stuff, so, um, oh, the knitting's going pretty well, um, I've done my third strip now, and I'm just about to start my fourth one, so that's going good as well. Um, we've put up some more mirrored stickers, like a unicorn on her door. Um, but yeah, that'll be part of the nursery tour when I do one eventually. So there we go. Um, this my little boy Cody. Is he a border collie? Anyway, I guess I'll show you my bump before my time runs out, if I can get him out of the way. Okay, hang on a second. Right, so here's my bump, my 23 and a half weeks. So that's from this side. Right, so as you can see my flattening belly button, it's creepy. The other side. This is one of my maternity tops I got. With my top on, it's not as... Uh, it's good. If I do that, you can see it. But this one's good because it just floats, sort of. Yeah. So, yeah, that's it for my 23 weeks. 
Um, if I think of anything else really important, I will make another short video. But yeah, otherwise, I guess I'll see you guys for 24 weeks. Okay, bye.